King Showtime, King Showtime, it's King Showtime, King Showtime, King Showtime, King Showtime, it's King Showtime, King Showtime, King Showtime, King Showtime, it's King Showtime, time, time, time. <laughs> Man, it's crazy. Seems like just yesterday you stand up at the posters all wide-eyed. <laughs> You've been through a lot. Hell, I put you through a lot. But it was all for one reason, to get you here. Your first UFC championship. I just want to say, uh, no matter what happens out there, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the fighter you've become. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, though. If you lose, I'm gonna have to bust you up in the gym next week. <laughs> I already made space on the wall for a new picture, and you know how much I hate redecorating, right? So let's go get that belt, champ. So after a long run through the middleweight ranks, here he is making the walk to the octagon for his first championship fight at 185 pounds. And this man hasn't just worked his way up the rankings. He has taken on all comers, and more often than not, he has taken out the opposition. So with the win streak in tow, now the challenges get bigger, and of course, none bigger than the incumbent, the UFC middleweight champion. We'll see how his style matches up tonight. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time, and in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. Martel the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Adesanya is three years his senior. He is two inches taller. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 173 pounds. Fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia, presenting the challenger, Thompson! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Ismael, the last bender of the sun. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. undisputed king of the 185 pounders the UFC middleweight champion of the world and how about the knockout to get the job done tonight ladies and gentlemen referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 13 seconds of the very first round declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC middleweight champion of the world top five all right, well, the next time he fights, it'll be black trunks with gold trim. Congrats to the new UFC middleweight champion of the world. Championship colors will be worn by this young man the next time he walks into the octagon. He came in there with a game plan, stuck to it, and got the job done. Congrats to the new UFC middleweight champion. 